On the 28th of October 1922, Benito Mussolini's black shirts approached the Italian capital in the March on Rome. Welcome to History Pod. In the aftermath of the First World War, Italy was facing economic instability, political fragmentation and a sense of national dissatisfaction. In this fertile ground for extremist movements, Benito Mussolini's National Fascist Party quickly gained support and by the end of October 1922 felt ready to launch a coup d'etat against the embattled government. Mussolini and his followers, the Black Shirts, embarked on a calculated and audacious march to Rome. On the 24th of October, he declared his intention to seize power in Italy and secured the support of up to 30,000 supporters from across the country who began to march on the capital. While the march was formidable in its show of force, Mussolini was simultaneously engaged in political negotiations behind the scenes. The Liberal government, fearing the potential for widespread violence and civil conflict, initially sought a compromise. However, as the black shirts arrived at the outskirts of Rome on the 28th of October, the Prime Minister, Luigi Facta, ordered a state of siege. Afraid of the potential for a civil war if he resisted Mussolini's supporters, King Victor Emmanuel III refused to sign the military order. As approximately 25,000 black shirts marched into the capital the next day, the king invited Mussolini to form a government as prime minister. Although the march on Rome was therefore not a violent coup, the combination of calculated political manoeuvring, backed up by the threat of upheaval, was enough to secure a fascist government in Italy. <laughs> 